A question to the Secretaries of State and Defense. Yesterday, the Senate voted to withdraw troops from Yemen or to uh, end U.S. military involvement there, I should say, and to unanimously censor Mohammed bin Salman as responsible for the Khashoggi killing. What is your response? What action will you take? And can you afford to ignore this? Uh, we certainly saw the vote yesterday. We always have great respect for what the legislative branch does. And um, we are in constant contact with uh, members on Capitol Hill so that we understand fully their concerns and do our level best to articulate why our policies are what they are and, and how we can ensure that we're getting the right policy for the United States of America and to keep our country safe. Uh, and we will certainly do that in light of yesterday's vote. And um, uh, President Trump's been very clear about the importance and not only importance of holding accountable those who murdered Jamal Khashoggi, but the importance of protecting American citizens. Uh, there are hundreds of thousands of people that the Iranians killed and been involved in their deaths all across the Middle East. Uh, there's real risk to the United States of America. You'll recall that the Iranians and their explosive devices killed hundreds of American soldiers. And President Trump is determined to make sure that we protect America, all the while holding accountable those who committed the heinous murder of Jamal Khashoggi. I don't want to repeat what the Secretary said. I'll just add that besides that vote yesterday in the Senate, which we respect, uh, there was also progress announced by the UN Secretary General in Stockholm to end the war, which required our engagement with all the parties and a strategic approach to ending that war that has gone on too long. 